That's right, that's right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hype-Radio.com. I'm your man, Shadow, and tonight, I got a treat for you, Northern Cali. I got one of your own. Uh, this is West Coast Wednesdays here, and uh, I love putting the spotlight on this Northern Cali shit. Now, it's West Coast Wednesday, so we give our love and support to the northern and the southern part, even, you know, up there in Washington and Oregon and Dago. Shout out, Mitchie. But uh, I'm up here, so I'm putting highlight on what's up here in the north. You got a problem with it? That's what you got a problem with. Tonight is a special treat because I'm actually getting ready to talk to one of my neighbors. See, I'm up here in the 916. Tonight, I get to talk to one of my 209 neighbors, uh, who is, wow, to, to, to get to know this dude and follow his, 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 his track record and how he became this, he is really like a ninth wonder. He, he, he's a, 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 a fluke. He's, he's, he's a, a myth. He's, he's one of the last unicorns, because they don't make them like this anymore. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, East Coast, West Coast, I bring to you 23, 23 ways. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, player, thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule and sliding to the next door. I appreciate you for having me. Now, we're going to go ahead and get into this because I got a whole lot of shit on my mind for you. Yeah. First of all, how long have you actually been doing this music thing? Really been making music since I was like 21, for real. 21, for real, okay. Now, it's been, I've been told, I had a little birdie in my ear saying that you was kind of into the music thing really past 21, like you really did a song at eight years old. What was that about? Yeah, it was really my cousin, he was a rapper. Like he wanted to be a rapper. You know okay. And, uh, yeah, he came over my house one day and we all went to one of my friends' house. Let's give a shout out to the cousin, man. Give, give me a shot. You know, uh, I can give me a shot. <laughs> All right, cuz. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> but, uh, go ahead. So, but, so boom. So we go to uh, one of my partner's house. And um, my partner had a studio. And my cousin wanted to rap, but he wanted me to get on the song so he feel comfortable. Okay. So we had made a song called Elementary. That was like, I didn't, like, I wasn't rapping then. I didn't even want to be a rapper then. It was just like, you know, so me and my cousin type thing. Okay, now at eight years old, did you did you put something together, or was it something that was there written for you already? I think I think I did half of it, and my cousin did half of it. Okay, like now, he wrote half of That's still a genius at eight yeah. to to be able to sit there and lay out what you want to say, help or not. That's still like genius. So we'll fast forward to this twenty one. To be in the two hundred nine, doing music. It's got to be as hard as doing music here in 916, but it's got to be a little bit more harder in the 209. At 21, getting the bug that you wanted to do this music shit, what started you out on your whole movement? So something had to hit you in the back of your head talking about, it's time to do this. What, what set that off? See, really, it was just, I never been um, like the talking type growing up. I never really know how to express my feelings. You know what I'm saying? I never really know how to talk about anything period. Right, right. I, I was real quiet growing up. So um, one of my close friends had passed away. And I don't know why I thought like, I'm gonna make a song about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I wanted to make a song about my friend. And when I showed people, I just, I seen the reaction I got and I just knew it was something. Like I knew I had something. So I decided to run with it. Now, the partner who, you know, had gone home, you made a song about that. Mm -hmm. That kind of like kicked off your career a little bit. Mm -hmm. How was how was the acceptance in 209 to that song? Because I've seen the video, great great video. You know, it had a lot of you know personal feelings in it, which I think made that song the best that it could be. But how was it accepted in your area? They loved it. Everybody was messing with it. Everybody okay. was telling me like, yeah, that's that's one. Now, do you think that was the homie talking about good job, tap on the shoulder kind of thing? I just be lying to know. Okay. So it was the simple fact that you actually put real emotion into a song and people were able to identify with it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, 
Is that how you pretty much do most of your music, or? Yeah, most most of my music is like my feelings, like my true past experiences. Okay, okay. Sure. Now, it was a rumor, you know, we started the OG that came with you earlier saying that he, he hadn't heard your voice since like he was 15. Now, we gotta get into that. How, how is it, you know, you, you living there and you in the studio with him, but you ain't really had no conversation. I mean, you know, you just said you was kind of real soft-spoken, quiet to yourself kind of thing, but why was that? Why? To be eight years old doing a song, and then 21 being dubbed one of the city greats, to being quiet as a church mouse. What, what, what is that? I don't even know, I just didn't talk. I talk, I only really talked to like a few people growing up. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I'm quiet everywhere. I was quiet everywhere. I didn't open my mouth. I just listen. I always listen more than I ever spoke. Now, I'm kind of the same way. Don't let this radio shit fool you. Because if I don't know you and I'm in a room with you, I ain't talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's just what it is. This radio shit is different. This is how we going to pay some bills. But normally, walk into a situation, you're going to see me in the corner like, why is this big black ass nigga in the corner just <laughs> mean mugging and quiet as hell? I get that all the time. But here, we different. Uh, was it the simple fact that you just wasn't comfortable in your skin? You didn't, if it wasn't important, you didn't have nothing to say? Or you was just, the homies was the one, how you got your message out? Nah, I just really like listening. Ooh. I like I like listening to what everybody got to say. That kind of makes you an evil genius that way, because you pick up a lot of game when you just sit up in a room and listen. Not for sure. Because, uh, what was that was said? The loudest one in the room is usually the weakest one? But I mean that quiet one in the room strength of Zeus. Now, coming up in the game, was there a lot of OGs that helped you with this movement? Like, as far as what? Like, you know, what, what, go scratch that one. Go, to, go with this one. Seeing how it was your cousin that got you at eight. Mm -hmm. When you hit 21 said you want to do this, is there more family that is into the music situation? Yeah, my, <clears throat> really? My uncle was in in the music business, my pop was in the music business. I got a cousin that was rapping and stocking like popular, you know what I'm saying? Okay. A lot of people around me made music. It just, I don't know, it just hit me late. It just took you a while to get to it, but yeah. obviously uh, it took long enough, because uh, you cooking, bruh. Man, you got, you got the three little singles that I, I don't even say, hold on, pardon me. You got these three big singles. Little is not even worthy of your hype. And you seem to be doing your thing. now. Local artists here in 916 find it really hard for what they want to say, local support. How is that to you and to a mom? I mean, I feel like I get a, I get a lot of support from my city. Okay. You know, it's always going to be like a few of them. Oh, yeah. You know, always. it's always going to be somebody that got something to say or somebody that want to go against it just because it's so good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But. Other than that, though, I, like I get a lot of support every, everywhere, every side, everybody. Okay. Now, if I'm correct, I think I heard you open for Lil Boosie one time. Mm -hmm. To be at that level to open for such a mega star such as himself, what did it feel like to do that? No. We're going to force you to talk on everybody. Because, you, like, you going to get up out this, you going to get out that comfort zone tonight. It, it happened quick. Like I had made, like boom, I did a song. It my, I dropped my first video ever, then about a week later, we was opening up for Boosie, so it was still new. Like I wasn't even like considering myself a rapper yet. I was really just trying it, you know what I'm saying? So like, I don't know, I wasn't excited. I was really scared though, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I wasn't ready to to have everybody looking at me. Honestly, like, humble, that's big. To be, to be the center of attention yet. So I was really like terrified for real. Okay. Don't ever lose that feeling. Because uh, that's what's gonna keep you on your toes. But it had to be kind of cool to be sitting up there like hearing your music blaring over, you know, amphitheater sound and on stage and kind of everybody's attention on you because a lot of those people may not have heard your music at that time. And to be open for Boosie, that kind of like may have added to your following kind of situation. Did you find out that you had new followers and new fans from that night? Yep. Uh, a, lot, a 
lot of followers for real. I ain't gonna lie to that, that's when it really went up. Like I had, when I when I did that show, I probably had like 600 followers on Instagram. Mm -hmm. After that, like probably like a month later, I was already at like 2,500 or something. You know, it started going jump. fast after that. That's a jump, that's a big jump. But that just gives you credit to what you're doing. Yeah. Now, your style is a melodic kind of rap thing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about, you know, maybe doing the singing too, or we just gonna do this melodic rap kind of situation? Dang, I really can't sing. I kind of sing. You gotta be able to do some of your own little hooks and whatnot, bro. You, you ain't kind of singing. You you singing. Kind of singing, man. Like, I ain't singing like R. Kelly. No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 we gonna be quiet on our Kelly. <laughs> yeah, like we ain't singing like R. Kelly, but I mean, you are hella melodic in your shit. So how did you come up with that style? I don't know. I think when when I first tried making music, I tried to rap. Okay. But it just it wasn't me. Like I wasn't feeling it. I'm like, oh, you can delete that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. And so I'm like, I went in there one day, and I'm like, uh, man, I'm gonna try something new, and I just tried it. Since then, I loved it, man. Well, to be honest, talking to you and hearing your music, I'm glad you switched it up because yeah. your voice talking to you kind of goes with what you perform in your music. It's crazy, but it matches. Now, you've got great video work. Who's shooting the videos? Oh, man. Uh, now, uh, Creative by Blue, he's been shooting the recent videos. Okay. Before that was my man Mike J. Now I really ain't really been to too many different uh, video man. It's really the main two. Now are these people in your circle or is it just people that you follow their work and you know they do great work? Uh, Mike J really been there from the beginning. Okay. He, he shot my first video, second video. You feel me? He been there from the beginning. Uh, Bluey, I just seen him on Instagram and he was hard. So, you know, I just have to like, we gotta okay. work. Now, are you the only artist on your label, or you extend it out to maybe bring somebody on to the label with you? Like, like as far as like what? Like, like do you have any artists that you want to kind of like bring up with you, or is there a homie who can rap? Is there a little shawty in, in the crew that can actually sing, maybe rap? I got, I got a few partners that rap, but I'm just, I'm very realistic. Okay. Well, let's hear. Let's hear about this realistic. Go ahead. Explain they, that. They be decent. Okay. I just don't see it going too far. Okay. Honesty is the best policy. Shit. Now, with your circle being as tight as I think it might be, yeah. does everybody have a role in your circle? Like they're there for a reason, other than you know them. Now, most definitely. It really ain't, ain't too many of us. It's only a few of us. Okay. It's really, me and a couple people, but everybody for sure got, got their role. Everybody doing something. Ain't nobody just hanging around. Ain't nobody just riding along. You know what I'm okay. saying? It, just, it be us working. Okay, now, sure. you did the little the little Bootsy show here. Has there been some other shows out of bounds you, you've done or been considering or up for? I'm up for whatever. But we did we did some shows, um, so many I can't even remember for real. But we'd have been to uh, Santa Cruz, Fresno. Uh, you know, we've been a whole bunch of places. Man. Okay, so being the the inside person that you are, what has been your best performance out of been? Where was that at? They say it's a little boozy show. <laughs> okay, what does 23 say? I say, after that, they all been good, except that one. I don't like, I feel like I looked dumb the first show. They say that was my best, my best performance. But after that, I feel like the rest of them have been all the same. They all been good. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, you was nervous. You're going to be your yeah. hardest critic. I, I can't understand why you say that, but, I mean, cast around you the saying that it was the best or was really great. You Need to really take some uh, lean towards that because they 
I don't see your circle lying to you, bro. Nah, for sure. So, I mean, but yeah, I understand being the hardest print, you know, being hard on yourself. I just feel like that's what I was doing too much. <laughs> <laughs> I was up no. there dancing, moonwalking, mad dancing. I was up there going stupid, bro. No cap. But it had to work. You went from 600 to what you say, 23, 25, honey? Yeah. I mean, it had to be something. It did work, though, but. After I'm like, how's it doing? Damn fool. Okay, so now when 23 ways hit the stage, what's your personality on the stage? I'm, I'm like calm. I'm really calm at all times. Calm, laid back at all times. Who time. the motherfuckers you need to worry about though, right? I really don't do too much, too much dancing, too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't do. You know, it's just I be trying to. You know, talk to a certain little bit of people in the crowd, you know what I'm saying? Keep them engaged. Really to keep pushing. Really. Okay. okay, so you trying to find a couple faces in the crowd to kind of lock into to perform and do your stage presence kind of situation. Because if you ain't been really talkative, public speaking ain't been your strong suit. Yeah. So you imagine what fuckers naked in the crowd and doing all that weird shit? Nah, really, I really is weird because when I, when I perform, I can't even see. Like, I can't see past, like, right in front of me. Them spotlights really be doing that. For real. I don't know what it is, but everything be blurred, bro. That's just, them spotlights be a motherfucker. That's why, you know, a lot of, I used to be one of the people who would be like, nigga, we ain't inside. Why are you wearing sunglasses on the stage? And that's because them lights be blinding their ass. But, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so, here it is now. You got great music. Appreciate that. You got great visuals. What's next for 23 ways? Because you're pushing these, you got a banging ass single. You know, I, motherfuckers crazy. You got a uh, rap star with one of my favorites and hell, the world's favorites. You got Fab on that. How did that connection happen? It has been, uh, <clears throat> really, I did, I did the song. I really had a song for like four or five months. I really wasn't even feeling it like that at first. Mm. And uh, <coughs> long story short, me and Unc decided to pull up there. We like, we can pull up and see if we can get him on something. So we ended up pulling up the Fab Stone. And then uh, when I walked in, he knew who I was though. He like, oh, that's that, uh, you that one singing thing, uh, I'm like, yeah. That. That That's sounds it. just like that too. But I'm like low key, Fabba, genius, man. Like I did an interview with him in the studio. I was the first cat invited to the studio to interview. He he sent the invite out. Like, you can't be no slouch. You can't be no dumb motherfucker sit up and talk to Fab, cause man, if you if you as quiet as you are saying you wanna sit back and listen, well I was in, I was doing the interview but it was his show. And I was just sitting in awe, like just soaking in the game that he was, that he was cooking. It was crazy. But to see him work in the studio is unreal. The man is a machine. So when you gave him the beat, when you gave him the song itself, were you there when you recorded it or <coughs> you were already out because you already had agreed that he wanted the song? What happened for that? Nah, so what happened was. Um he had told me, cause we, we was like, after he like, you the singing dude? I'm like, yeah, he like, what's up? I'm like, shit, we trying to see what we can do to get you on the song or something. He like, let me hear something. So, you know, I wasn't even thinking this song. I would go out with my phone, go through my little notes. I just felt like, let me hear it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I clicked something, and that just happened to be the one I clicked. I didn't even know I clicked it for real. <laughs> that song. So I clicked it, and then I just started playing something. I was like, huh? Put it to his ear, and he listening to it. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, damn, he ain't feeling it. I think the wrong one, cause he ain't not his head. He ain't, he ain't do nothing. He just like this, on to his ear, head down. When it was over though, he said, "Yep, yeah. send it to me. I'm gonna send it back to you at eight o'clock." And it was that. The uncomfortableness that you was probably feeling while you were yeah. on that phone was probably unreal. Nah, 
Yes, sir. But that is the way he is. The man is a doc. I, look, town business, fab, play and put in your, your papers now because I do believe you're going to be the mayor, man. Like, they didn't get this man his own mural. He didn't got the mayor talking to him. He got all kind of events going on. And the man is, like I said, bro, he's a machine. But to actually, he probably respected the simple fact that you got into the vehicle, drove all the way to the store. And whether you hit the right song or not, maybe it was destiny to hit that song, man. You know what I'm saying? To do that, he all he takes all that in. Like all that meant something to him. It's weird how Fab, I won't say it's weird, but it's, <laughs> it, it, it's, you know, they always say geniuses are weird. But he, he, the man is beyond. Now, what I did not notice was you weren't in the video. I don't remember seeing you actually in the video. I remember seeing a quick glimpse of Fab in the video. But that video was dope as fuck because it had the words going across it. Like, you had to listen and you had to read it and it was going cool. Whose idea was that? Um, I don't even know what idea that was. So you, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, they um, uh, they just showed me, and I'm like, pressure. So like you said, it's hard. We gonna rock with it. Gonna rock with it. Really, that's just that's just a living video. We ain't shot the official video yet. Okay, so when we shoot the official video, cause the song go to work. And we waiting on it right now. We trying to get everything together. Not too long ago. No. Where are we shooting instead? Are we shooting it back home? We shooting in town? We going out of town to shoot to someplace else? What, what, what are we doing? What are we shooting? I don't know, but I know where we shoot. That's going to be crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Well, well, he don't want to tell because you don't want everybody to show up. I get it. But I better get noticed. Gary, better get some notice on where the video is, bro. Now, you got this hit sync. We, I'm going to go ahead and give everybody a little taste of it. Because, uh, Shit is stupid, bro. Like, I love this song. Appreciate that. Like, this shit is low key, like, it's really, like, I don't want to say emotional, but you can feel it. Like, th your music isn't just something you're going to bob your head to. You really touch it and make a motherfuckers think about what you're going through. And they, and they identify with you, they really latch it on to you. Now, for sure. Now, in your fan base, has it been like some people who talk about your music helped them through some situations or things like that? Yeah, of course. But, um, really, that was like, that was my, my goal. Because, like I said, I've never really been like the talker or, you know, the person to express myself. So I just know there's a lot of people like, in the world that are going through the same thing and don't know how to talk about it. Or you don't know how to express yourself to other people. So you know, some people may feel they alone. So when I really found out that I had to, to give to touch people through my words, that was like the main thing of me making music. Just talk about my story and express about how I feel. So the people that feel the same way as me don't feel alone. Okay. Now knowing that this is what you did your music for. You make people feel you and understand and know that they're not alone. Knowing that you have reached that accomplishment. You know, we go through our daily struggles. Everybody got their own story. Realistically, for you to know that you help people out, how does that sit on your heart? I mean, it means a lot. Like, people tell me that it means everything. That's what really keep going. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not really, um, I'm not driven by, like, the fame, you know what I'm saying? None of that. Like, that's what drives me to keep going. That's what motivates me to keep going to the studio, keep dropping videos, keep, keep going. Period. Now that's probably what what's going to keep me going because you ain't out here for the fame and the flash, and like you really out here to give a, pe a person like something that they identify with, and that's. That's amazing in itself, but, you know, we are going to take Fab down a little bit. But to still be moving and grooving like this, like you're doing successfully, 
what are some things maybe you're going to do for your city? Because, you know, like 916, we got rough areas. We got our we got our politic bullshit. And, you know, Stockton's always on the motherfucking news. Man. Like, y'all, shit. Like, don't get caught slipping in Stockton. Because it's very easy. Being from there and knowing the things that are going on, what are some things that could maybe possibly, with God's touch, solve some of the bullshit that's going on? Well, I feel like, like some, some that solve a lot of what's going on right now, like, like you know, when I was growing up, there's a lot of teen centers and a lot of mm -hmm. things to do, like, right. for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, we don't hang out with our friends and do what we do, but we be here too. Like, the city really ain't got nothing. Like, so all the kids doing is just hanging out with their homies. Are. They, it's nothing else to do but to go hang out, like, in the hood. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing to do but to go outside and hang out with the, with the people that are doing okay. everything that they're doing. And of course, you've been around there every day. What's that? We're going to follow that. It's not. There's not too many people that just is born leaders, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody get get um influenced. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like it's a lot of influence and to do out there right now. Okay, now you seem like you got an old soul to you. Mm. you know, I don't know exactly how old you are now, but you got an old soul to you. Is that because of those OGs that kind of took you under their wing? Because I personally believe that it's the simple fact that there's no more youth centers and the OGs ain't being the OGs they're supposed to be. Like, I think that holds heavy on a lot of the situations going on. So when 23 Waves hits that song that goes eight times platinum diamond and the money is still no thing, but you want to go back and you want to do some things, what is this hip hop game going to allow you to be able to go back and do? And what you mean allow me to? Go back and do for it your, for your community, for your family. You know, what what is there is there something like you want to get into the clothing industry, you want to, you know, further the label. When, when the money's just falling out your pocket and you don't care what it is, what, what is twenty three ways gonna do? I, I for sure I wanna come back for the city and you know put just put things around for, for younger kids to, to do. You know what I'm saying? I actually love to talk on one of my partners about that. I don't know what to do yet, but we were talking about it, you know, because I know it's coming. Okay, well, it's in your heart, man. It's going to be big. Uh, is there any upcoming shows that we can, we can't wait to see 23 Ways at? Oh, uh, yeah, man. Uh, team putting together a little tour right now. I should be on the road in April, you know what I'm saying? Okay. What, city, what city are we hit? I don't even know yet. Hopefully everywhere. Now, we, we plan on taking it out of Cali or? Yeah. Okay, okay. Because uh, Texas is big. I know Texas is going to love you. Yeah. Texas is going to fall in love with you when you go down there. You know, the, the East Coast, you know, I think the, the West Coast and the Southern region is definitely going to fall in love with you. But I think the East Coast is going to fall in love with you because you kind of got an original type sound. Yeah. So that's just big. Now, being the melodic artist that you are, do you listen to a lot of hip hop or more R and B? I, I listen to hip hop and R and B, but a little bit though. I really listen to country music all day. Now, see, that's something that a lot of cats don't understand because country music—you you find a couple. You know, I ain't no big country fan, but it's a couple songs that go to work. Now, in the country music realm, what are some of the artists that you like that maybe influenced? 23 Ways is now in the hip hop world. Man, I like Blake Shelton, okay, okay. Joe Combs, Morgan Wallen. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a whole bunch of people, but they're my big top favorites right there. Okay. Now, it's a lot of, whether people knew or not, it's a lot of black country singers. And I think that, you know, because Beyonce has come out with her song, that has kind of put more of a light on them. Yeah. Because I ain't gonna lie, going across social media, I found a lot of black country music singers that I didn't know about, and they shit goes to work. Yeah. Do you think that 
this opportunity for country music is going to take off. And with that being said, can we possibly be getting a country song from Mr. Twenty Three Ways? Oh, man, I, I, I might do a, a collab with a country artist. Okay. But I, I, don't, I don't think I, I don't think uh, y'all gonna be hearing any. Uh, I don't know why. Coming from me, man. I don't know why you doing it now. I know. I mean, I feel like the closest gonna get is like already like like combined. I think if you do like a Nelly thing, you put a, put a song in the hip hop category, take that same song and put it over here in country. Yeah. I think it's a win win. By the way, when you get that plaque and all that, I want my credits. I ain't playing. <laughs> I want my credits for that, bro. So I'm me. I will come to tour. Uh, 23 ways, I, I need my credits, bro. I saw it in the book. I heard it. I need that. But I mean, your talent is crazy, bro. Like, some of the shit you can put together on the song that I have. Is amazing. The, the the flow you have is one of a kind. I got three singles yours, and all three of them are get in the car and just on a beautiful day and just hit the freeway and ride. Yeah, sure. Now, are you always just that fucking laid back? Is there a time where you just popping off and you wilding out? You having a great time? And you just Joe cool all the motherfucking time. All the time. Your birthday, you don't get happy. You ain't know? All the time, man. I'm just like this everywhere, 24 7. We gotta, like, get you an IV of energy drink or some shit. <laughs> now, when you hit big, are we gonna, are we gonna see you turn it up one time? Or are we just gonna be this cool all the time? I'm always, I never really been like, you know, the, the loud, hype, turned up guy ever. I always been chill. That's all the ghosts. But see, again, those are the ones you got to worry about. Because those are the thinkers. Those are the ones who really have, while you on step one, they already on step four, and they know what you've been doing, yeah. one, two, and three. Those are the ones you worry about. I get it and understand it, but as the radio guy, I got to do this. I'm normally the quiet one. But, so, these songs that you have, that I have been blessed to receive, are they on an upcoming project, or are they already you know, out? Because I know, I know one, uh, 20, Three and one, that's already out, correct? And I've seen the video work for that. We have this new one that's Rap Star, and then we have a song that's, we have Rap Star, we have 23 and one, and then we have Georgia. Yeah. None of your songs are in one lane. Yeah. How did you come up with the song, Georgia? See like, you know, Rap Star is a great song. Is that twenty three and one? That's like, like more like you know, the raw and uncut, like me, like you know my past, like the raw and uncut is really Georgia. Like that's really like, Georgia is really me though. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like if they told me to play a song that explains you, I'll probably play that song. Okay. Well, I mean. Put it to a song, that means you can explain it. It's hard though. I'm, 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 I'm trying to think of the words like, it's just, this like more like my lane right here. You know what I'm saying? So Georgia is the 23 ways story. Now, when you had this song in your head, what made you put it down on paper? What made you get in the studio and do it? I really come with all this on, on the spot in the studio. Mm. So this was like just in the moments, but I don't really feel it at that time. So you were beat driven or yeah. you already have it written down in your head where you, what you want to spit, you got to hear the right sound with it. But you said you more beat driven. Yeah, but I just need to hear a beat. It's gonna, it's gonna okay. Now, lay back, melodic, and the 20 way story. If you had to design your video to this, where, where where would be the perfect place to do this video at? It's crazy, cause I haven't thought about that many times. I don't know. Okay. I'm, I, I think that's why we haven't shot a video yet. I'm, I'm gonna start putting the pressure on you. So, these projects, 
supposed to be one large project or we just gonna beat up everybody in the head with all these singles? I did three right there, they own um he has a job called uh, The Hood Romantic. What's called what again? The Hood Romantic. The Hood Ro... That's kind of dope. Yeah. That's kind of dope. So, let's go ahead and try this lane. Now, <laughs> we The Hood Romantic, we say it a lot. <laughs> we Mr. Romeo 209, what's going on, Mr. Hood Romantic? That's a, that's a hell of a title, by the way. So, so how, how, how do we come up with that? Who is the magician behind that? Me, it's just like I'm really a laid man. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why your ass so quiet, laid back. <laughs> that will do it. Okay, so now, now we breaking some surface here. Whoo! Now, Mr. Hood Romantic over here. Boy, that's a motherfucking title. Now, coming up young. Let's go ahead and go back a little bit with this. Were you always like laid back and had the little the little girls chasing you? Cause you know, it was hard for a player. Before Wesley Snipe came out of New Jack City, you know, dark skinned niggas we weren't in. Yeah. You know, you light skinned motherfuckers, y'all thought y'all was running the world, we gonna let that shit go. I'm a little, that's, that's a sensitive subject for me. So, like, did you have all the little the little chicks chasing behind you then with the cool light skinned shit and that thing? Sure. Okay, so so we had to have our game sharp. Almost definitely. So it's a lot of OGs in your in your your pocket that to put a lot of game in your ear. Almost definitely. Okay, I'm getting I'm, legend. I'm, I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting in this. So now when you on stage, when you rocking certain songs. You take on a whole different personality. You become a whole different person. Now, I don't know the AKA that's real. I don't know the government. But is 23 Ways kind of like your inner demon or your inner your inner personality or inner being that's at the time is taking over? Because I know personally, Shadow. My mama ain't going to never call me Shadow. Yeah. You know, Auntie and them, they ain't. They, Shadow, you don't know who that is, and I'll be in their face. 23 Ways, how did that come about? 23 Ways, like, the name, I came up with the name because uh, one of my closest friends from, like, little kids had passed away when he was in like, high school. And uh, I, was going, I was going through our old messages, you feel me? And he had said one time, like, bro, I'm like Jordan, bro, I'm like Pippin. We just go together, you feel me? Like, we the boys for real. And I really just ran with it, 23. It seems like everything in your movement is a heartfelt destiny. I don't want to say emotional, because, you know, they say as men, we ain't supposed to be emotional, but like, Everything that you have going on is really like a process you go through your head, your, your thinking process that's, I don't know what it is in your mind, but when it comes out here, it makes sense. I feel like, I don't know, just, I've always been like that too, like everything I do has a meaning, like I do everything for a reason, I say everything for a reason. That goes along with the quiet until you find the necessary to speak on it because then you can't do nothing but respect that. Okay? So now, this project that we have, what are we dropping? Oh, the, uh, the Hood Romania. The Hood Romania. You got to come out with a merch line for that. I need that hoodie. <laughs> the Hood Romania. We already um, we dropped that already. Okay. How far into the into the process are we with it? How long has it been out? About two months or so? What's, what's the feeling off of that? Because how many songs is on that? I got three of them. Two of them, three of them. Seven. Seven D. Seven, yeah. So what's, what's been the response on the, the hood romantic? That's, that shit is tight. So what's been your response on that? Nah, they loving it. They, they really messing with that rap star. 
Okay, so feeling that rap star in, in that Georgia, but I've been getting great feedback from the uh, EP ever since it came out. Now being the title of Hood Room Manager, who you getting more feedback from? From the male followers? Oh God, I already know the answer to this. The female followers. Oh man, you know the female. Man. <laughs> That name in itself is genius. That that name in itself just threw bait into the water. You you throwing chum in the water and everybody swimming. It's, that's crazy. Now, I'm trying to think how I'm gonna say it. How, how can I put this? With the hood romantic being out two months, yeah. they're getting the feedback that's great. Obviously, you put out great work. You being the quiet thinker that you are, the hood romantic is out there in the water already. What's next? What's next, man? I'm working on the, uh, another project called Butterfly Effect. Okay. I, I, I think it may be a full album this time, though. Now, when you say full out, we're looking for what, 13, 12? 13, 14, 15 songs, 16 songs, probably. Now, that's a little different, because mm -hmm. now the criteria is we're going to put out a single, we're going to have a video, we're going to put it on YouTube, and we're going to try and get a billion dollars. Rinse and repeat. What's making you want it to go? And I guess I can say, excuse me, back in the old ways, and do a complete project like that. I feel like <clears throat> I was satisfied with the EP, you know, the seven songs. Mm -hmm. I just really feel like it wasn't enough. Mm. It wasn't. It wasn't enough for me to to express like my creativity. You know what I'm saying? Like the seven songs, I just feel like I was kind of in a box. Mm. So on this new project, 13, 14, 15 deep, are we gonna get the complete package of 23 ways or? It's probably, it's probably gonna be the most, um, my most creative work yet. That's saying a lot, because uh, if this project that you have out now that's dropped for two months, it's got great hits like these, and these are kind of telling your story too. Like, that next project's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be vicious, I'm telling you now. Vicious. Now, I have three songs from the album here. I have one feature with Mr. Fab, shout out Mr. Fab. On the other songs on the album, is there some more features or you kind of like you doing you? Uh, I think on, on the Hood Romantic end, we need two more, too many more features, really. I think he may be the only one. I'm not, a, I'm not 100% sure though, but I think he may be the only one. Now, the second project is going to be coming up and smashing the world in the face. Are we talking about doing features or are we going to kind of solo bolo on this one too? I don't know. Yeah, I'm picky though too, so I'm, nothing wrong with I, that. I've really been like trying to see who I would want to be a part of it. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't, I ain't got no features there. It's all me so far. Mm -hmm. But I plan on getting some features though. Okay, well, there's a question. Who would you like to have the features? Maybe three. Like we talking about, if I get a from anybody in the world, anybody on the planet, why? Oh, right, like it's how we gonna do it right here. Justin Bieber, first one. Pause. <laughs> Flag on the play. It's not too many cats who will come up here and sit down with me and talk about they want a feature from Justin Bieber. Uh, explain. Like you know that he just he pay like man, he. He that guy, man. Like, to sum it all up, he's just a dude. Like, I mess with people for real. And then, you know, he, it's, it's a smart finish move. He's doing a billion views easy. So, you okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, let's, let's hear two or three. Um, two. I ain't gonna lie. And I'm gonna have to go. But, probably dirt. Ooh. Dirt hard. You and Dirk on the, on, on the track might be kind of vicious, bruh. I'm sure. Because I like polar opposites. 
but that combination is going to be mean. Sure. Dirt Fist. Uh, three. See, I'm probably going to have to say Webby. Yeah, Webby, that's my guy. I ain't going to lie. Now, why? Why wait? What's, what's, what's that about? I don't know. Ever since I was young, like, Webby just been, like, one of my my top five favorite rappers. I just always can relate when we can talk about it. Now, that's, that goes to prove you ain't never going to be in one lane. Because the artists you just label, bruh, those don't connect. Yeah. I mean, Bieber probably connected to both of them because, you know, Bieber's just, he, he liked it. Bieber liked that. But, Webby and, 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 you know, whatever else might be in your, 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 your thought process. I think, I think Webby gonna be like, more like a, a personal future. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, for me. Okay, okay. Kind of, I, I ain't mad. Get with somebody who you've been listening to that music for years. All right, all right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Kind of smart, actually. But, you know, the way you move and zig and you zag in this game, I, I believe is all well thought out. I believe that you are getting the, the speed that you are getting because people identify with what you're saying. Yeah. Like, you know, you don't really, I won't, I'd say this, but, you know, you really don't have followers. You have cult members. Because for you to put out a song, you get the respect and the, and the returns and the replies about, yeah, that's something that you know I've been thinking about. You know, this helped me get through it. And like, you really, really out here making great music for the people. Uh, I applaud you for that. Now, going forward, I kind of touched on the question earlier, but you want to hear it again. When you have gone and hit eight times platinum next five projects you're going to put out and it's a door at the end of that runway what does that door open up for 23 ways How, what are you going to do at that time who's going to push your legacy that's a good question oh yeah like okay when you say for like push my legacy what's who you well there is the artist 23 ways Sooner or later, it's going to be some merch. There's going to be some community. There's going to be other artists. What is at the end of your road? What do you what 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 is at the top of the mountain for you that you you put thought in? You notice what you want to do. You're gonna put it in the universe today. What is it that Twenty Three Ways wants to do when he's done making music? I want to do real estate. This man talking about real money. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. Now, the real estate game is a vicious game. That's no, right. But it is a for show game. Do you sit back and listen to all the little YouTube, you know, cats talking about it, or are you kind of getting your, your information from cats who've actually really done that? I actually got um, one of my partners, his pops is like, big in real estate. Okay, so you really? got an inside source. So I've been, I've been soaking game with him. I'll be on YouTube putting it up to them. I'll be doing my little research on it. I've recently been on the Wall Street Trapper. I ain't gonna even front. Yeah. That dude, printing money. I need, I, I'm trying to learn it. I ain't gonna even lie. I'm trying to learn it. And I want, I'm gonna be a, I got a little spot, but you know, he had to do it a different kind of way and I had to put it in somebody else's name. But I'm gonna be first time buyer of my shit now. In Stockton, there's a community out there that was built and nobody moved in. Are you planning on doing the real estate game in the 209? Or are you planning on taking it someplace else? Maybe we'll say doing like Airbnb is kind of thing. Man, I'm trying to go global. I'm trying to go across the world. For real. Okay, okay. Everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to need my little passes to the 23 ways, you know. Bahamas Resort. I'm gonna need that. Oh, 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, brother, I just want to say thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule because you're running, you got you moving, you got great songs, you got great visuals, you got great people in your corner. I really want to say thank you for coming through here on West Coast Wednesdays on Hype Radio and, and really blessing my platform with your presence, as quiet as it may be. Yeah. Now, if people want to get a hold of you, get some features, talk about they can do some work for you, or whatever the case may be, please let the people know how they can get contact with you. Well, first off, I want to appreciate you for having me as well. And um, all social media, all, all social media, uh, 23 Waves, T-W-E-N-T-Y, and number three, W-A-Y-Z, all together, no spaces. Now, when we finally get this tour together, all the information is going to be right there. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Now, when we, when we doing this merch thing? I mean, I actually, um, I don't know why I looked at them. I thought I had a watch on. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got um, some merch coming probably tomorrow. Okay, what are we looking at? Hats, beanies, hoodies, t-shirts? t-shirts right now, but okay. you know, we're going to go up and up and up and up. Okay, sure. okay, okay. Now, like I said, bro, thank you very much. Uh, your music is great. Appreciate that. Uh, if it wasn't great, you wouldn't be sitting here. <laughs> I'm just saying, but you in rotation here, special on Wednesdays, because I support my, my Northern Cali guests. You being a 209 fan, man. Automatic. Yeah. This is what it is. Uh, we gonna get up out of here and let this man continue on his journey to greatness. I'm your man Shadow. This has been Hype Radio. This is West Coast Wednesdays on Hype Radio. You can follow us on the G on the IG. Hype Radio is real. We got the YouTube channel. We got get us on tune in. Take us wherever you want to. Because this soon to be legend is going to stay in rotation here at Hype Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, get at him now, because in a minute, he will have somebody answering his text messages. He's going to be having somebody doing replies on his DMs. You better get at this man now. Uh, we out. Y'all be safe.